Welcome back to another week. Ah! A bee. You saw a bee? Do you see that? I had an itch coming out of the shower yesterday, so I took my towel and I itched my face. Apparently, it took my skin with it. <laughs> so don't itch your face with a towel, okay? <laughs> so, last week I did some modeling. <laughs> modeling. I don't know how much of them. Anyways. <laughs> called the Al Fox collection. It's not my clothing. I have nothing to do with it except the fact that I think they're really cute and I was in the photo shoot but she did make a discount code my friend over at Nest Boutique if you did want to purchase any of it. So there you go. This week I spent time as always with the Matson family. If you're wondering who the Matson family are, I met this family six or seven years ago. They asked me to speak. That's how we met. But then they became like my family out here. So this Sunday we did our family photos together. This is what the kids both picked out to wear today. <laughs> now. Kristen, you're channeling your inner Cyclops and X-Men. We do realize that it's in the 70s today. Note the short sleeves, huh? No, it's just something we're all gonna do. <laughs> You are all in the trash! I will not do that. No. <laughs> that one looks like a bee. Oh my gosh, it's got a head on it! It's right here. Do you want one? Ew, I heard it! <laughs> What's next? The bar bets? Yeah. Oh, these ones are bar. Psyched your own self out. No! I can feel it in my mouth. Oh my gosh. We are on our way to take family photos. Because I am. Family. <laughs> me listening? No, you were trying to do photo box. I was like, I don't think she can even see me. You can do it right now for everyone to see. <laughs> Everyone's ready? Everyone's ready. You're so yep. ready. We're ready. So ready. Ready. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Doing, Teenage dude? Mutant Ninja Turtles. He loves Ninja Turtles, so I think he's all sewer. Oh, he look at oh. <laughs> it's you. Go, 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 go. Come here. Go. Christian, go. You're going to get third. <laughs> That's your future. <laughs> Here, turn around, let me show them what we did. We did a the bottom to the side button. Yeah. Are you? Okay. Here I am. Here I am. This looks like a really bad idea. Can I just be frog right now? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Go! I can't. Just do it. <laughs> 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 so 
So then we went to the Jordan River Temple open house twice because they closed it the first time. Where are we going? A temple! All right, Christian, what are you wearing? Oh, all right! How did you? Are you for the tour? Yes. Sir. I have bad news. What's up? The uh, tour has all been canceled today due to the wind. Oh, really? And you're afraid of the tents falling down. So the temple is closed, babe. What? It closed. Why? We can't go because they closed it down for weather. We're gonna go get pizza though, okay? <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll go another day. We'll go to the temple another day, okay? Do you want to go inside and go get pizza? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hot, okay. I said turtle pizza. Ninja turtle pizza? Yeah! <laughs> Is it hot? <laughs> Let's roll up your sleeves, bud. Okay, we're trying this again, and it looks like we picked a really great time because, as you can tell, uh, the parking lot is pretty empty. So, alright, round two. Oh. Did you just hear that? Alright, so, okay, watch your step. <gasps> Do you want to go inside? He sees the golf cart. Oh, the golf cart? Oh my goodness. So the temple's right there behind us, but it looks like they start you out right here in um, the chapel. We'll be showing you a 10 minute video that talks about what temples are and why they are special. Did you love it? I like the temple. You do? There's oh yeah, I love it. Did you just hear that? I love it. Smells like purple. <laughs> you gotta be gentle. Watch your step, Gracie. Oh, Jordan River Temple is the temple that Ben got in Dowden. And then our first Sunday, right after we got married, we went to our bishop that first Sunday and we said, we want to work in the temple. And so then we worked in the Jordan River Temple. And then when I got pregnant, <laughs> I passed out on top of someone there while I was working. And so then we decided I probably shouldn't work there anymore. <laughs> What'd you drop? Drop my gum. <laughs> Always falls out of my mouth. Where are you going to put it now? behind your ear. <laughs> Babe, you can eat it. I won't judge you. The kids loved it. I was nervous how Christian was gonna do, um, but he did amazing and he loved it. And the whole time he was just going wow. in every single room to everything. And it was 
amazing. And then Ben finally got his ancestry DNA results back. Woo! I did one a while ago. It's yes, Ben's turn. So this is everything that comes in the kit. That's what you'll spit in. This is what you send it back in. And it's really as simple as that. Oh look, a notification on your phone just popped up saying your Ancestry DNA kit has been activated. Perfecto. Fill the tube until your saliva, not including bubbles, is at or just above the wavy line. All right, get to it. Oh, please. Results are in. Okay. So yeah, what I did the, I submitted the DNA test like a month ago, I want to say. It was about, exactly a month ago. Yeah, about four weeks ago. So it does say it takes about four to six weeks, so they're pretty spot on. <laughs> okay, final guesses. Well, I imagine I'm Irish, because I'm... <laughs> like dominant Irish? I don't know if I'm dominant, but I imagine like I probably would have a big percentage of Irish, because I have like a lot of doppelgangers in Ireland. But I don't even know, though. But then so I, Irish I imagine and... Scottish... English for sure, because caraway, I mean, that seems very English. <laughs> I'm pretty spot on, I would say. Mostly, um, I'm 62% from Great Britain. Are you really that much? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. 24% is Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. <laughs> yeah, I got some Scandinavian in me. And Southern European. I'd have to click the country to find out. I'm 3% Finnish and Northwest Russian. <laughs> For real? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's come around and see what this looks like. So when you get your results back in, this is how it will look. Mm -hmm. So it's in order of your percentage, and then it'll show you on the map of what that looks like. Wow, that's cool. So if you click Great Britain, England, Scotland, and Wales, that's where I'm primarily located. But look, see, look, I got some in France, Belgium, and a little bit of Germany. <laughs> Who was born in Germany? I was. Yeah. <laughs> Military. But we count it. Well, I'm a tiny bit German, I guess. <laughs> Your dreams just came true. <laughs> All right, click another one. Let's see what else... Like what will pop up for something else. And then... You're all just like right there. I'm all right in here. <laughs> Hit the overview. What does the overview say? That's cool that they do this. Well, I knew I'd be Great British and Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. That was my guesses. But I was definitely surprised to see like... Southern European have some Greece and Italy and then also Scandinavian. I thought oh, that's cool you know, from Sweden and Norway and Denmark. I mean, that's... We have an Ancestry DNA kit right here. Not opened. Brand spanking new. Ready to come to you. How is that for a rhyme? All you have to do is subscribe to us on YouTube for your chance to win this DNA kit. For you to do. To find out for free. who you really are. It was like a year or so ago that I did my Ancestry DNA results and I found out that my life has been a lie. Like nothing about that was anything that we grew up celebrating and saying that we were. So if you want to see my results, I'll link to them in the description right here. I'll go ahead and start this week's music. <laughs> and we'll get into this week's message and montage. One thing you cling to today, I hope it's this. All of this, this isn't just wishful thinking. It actually is real. Real life blessings. Real life strength and guidance and promises from a real life God. And if you haven't yet, give him the chance to show you how great your God truly is. Actively live the way we should and give him the opportunity to show us the better way. Comfort, strength, energy, hope is always there for us because God and his resources are right there in front of us. It all lies within the simple things of the gospel, those simple things too often that are overlooked. Let's give this a real go at it every day. Let's make taking care of ourselves and our soul a priority. 
because wow, what an indescribable difference I don't dare ever live without again. I don't dare give a pathetic attempt from the adversary one more second of my time because nothing is worth giving up what comes from what God has given us. Whoever is listening to this, I hope you find happiness. Not temporary happiness or if I'll pretend maybe I'll be happy kind, but the long-lasting, real happiness that makes your face glow and lights up your soul. Happiness that comes from God who is always there waiting for you and loving you. And next time you feel like you're worth nothing, remember, the most important man to walk this earth gave his blood for